up guys welcome back to retail traders guide to systematic trend following this is going to be a quick how-to video on uh, volatility based position sizing uh, for your trading system and I'm just going to show how to do it in a spreadsheet real real simply using ATR as our um, volatility proxy and what I'm hoping from this is um, I'm hoping that those of you who watch it who have questions will go ahead and send us some questions on the short video and then when Sam and I get together this weekend to do like our full conversation video we can hopefully answer some of the questions you have in regards to this or whatever it is that you have questions about so um, let us know what you think about these videos about the series what you want to see more of what you want to see less of and um, any questions you might have about this particular video so I've um, created just a quick spreadsheet here in Excel and I'll go through these each one of them at a time and explain them and show the formulas and everything and I will put a copy of this spreadsheet in the um, in the video description um, as long as I can figure out how to do that but it shouldn't be a problem so <clears throat> if you're gonna use volatility to base uh, position sizing um, it's a good thing to do because it normalizes um, your bets across your different instruments. So if you have a really volatile instrument and a really um, not volatile instrument, you can take the same amount of risk with both positions um, so they both have an equal effect on your portfolio. So for this example, we're just going to assume a $10,000 trading account. That's what account equity is. Uh, we want to risk 1% per trade, and I've just picked that um, just for the example, I'm not advocating that one way or the other. Um, this is, um, I was looking at SPY uh, for this example, and I was looking at a moving average cross, um, just because that's what we uh, explained in our entry exit video, so if you haven't seen that, check it out. Um, so this was just the price the last time the, the moving averages that I'm looking at crossed each other, and this was the ATR on that day. Um, so ATR, average true range, it's just a measure of volatility. Um, if you are interested in hearing more about what ATR is and how to calculate it, let us know in the comments and we can cover that this weekend. Uh, we're using a three times ATR stop multiple. So if you used one ATR as your stop, um, if you understand what ATR is, you know that's really tight. There's a good chance that in a day or two you'd get knocked out of your position. So we're going to give it a little bit of wiggle room. And so what I've done here for stop price, I'm going to click on this and you can see in the formula bar up here, um, what we've done, we've taken the entry price. So this would be the day, the price when we enter the trade. And then we're subtracting the ATR times the ATR multiple. So, you know, 277 times 3 is going to be $7 and some change. So you subtract that from your entry price, and this would then be your stop price. So this, this spreadsheet already will go ahead and automatically calculate your stop price for you, so you don't have to do that. Um, then we need to know how many shares we want to buy so we achieve our 1% risk here using the stop that we're using. So I'm going to click on this cell so you can see what this calculation is. I can't really zoom in on the formula bar anymore. Let's see if I can. Here we go. Alright, so what we have here, first we have to figure out what our risk per trade is in a dollar amount. So that's what this B1 times B2 is. So we're multiplying 10,000 times 1%, which gives us $100. And then we are dividing that by the ATR stop width. And that makes sense if you think about it. If you want to risk $100 and your stop width is about seven dollars wide what you're gonna get out of that is twelve shares to buy and that's gonna give you your risk one percent what I've done here the nominal cost is just calculating how much of your account uh, is gonna be used up by buying twelve shares of SPY at 278.80 so you can see in the calculation here it's just a simple the entry price times the share count 
that gives you $3,354.99 minus uh, not including any commissions, which hopefully you're not paying any commissions now that everybody's given away trading for free. Um, and then this is just percent of equity used, so you can see how much of your account is going to be used to take this 1% risk. And that's just um, the cost of the trade divided by the account value to give you the percent of the account that you're going to use up. So there you go, real easy. Um, with this simple spreadsheet, you can be... Uh, using volatility to calculate um, your position sizes. And like I said before, what this allows you to do is uh, normalize volatility across all your positions. So if you have a really volatile stock and you have a really non-volatile stock, you can still take the same amount of risk and give each one of them an equal opportunity to, um, to do what they're going to do and impact the portfolio. Um, so there it is, a quick spreadsheet. Like I said, this will be in the video description so you can download this and use it. Um, and just to show you real quick, if you just change any of these things around, um, the spreadsheet will adjust automatically. So <clears throat> there you go. If you got a $45 stock with a $1 ATR and you're using a, a, um, a three dollar or three ATR multiple, your stock would be forty two. You'd buy thirty three shares. It cost you fifteen hundred bucks and use fifteen percent of your portfolio. Say instead of ten thousand dollars, you got twenty five thousand. There you go. You can just play around, do different things with this. Um, obviously, you know you're going to put however much money you have here to trade, however much risk you want to take per trade, and then for whatever instrument you're trading, you just need the entry price. The ATR, which you can get from the chart, and whatever multiple you want to use to, you know, decide how how close or wide you want your stop to be. So uh, send us your questions. Let us know what you think. Let us know what about this topic we can talk about in depth uh, when Sam and I get together this weekend. And other than that, everybody have a great weekend and talk to you soon. Later.